Welcome to Central United Church Basic Training Course for Computers. This is week one, and this segment will be dedicated to basically Windows Vista and Windows 7 users. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is documents and, and folders, files, and word processors. First of all, let's look at the Start menu, and we're going to go to Documents, and this is where all your documents should be. So you can see my different documents here and they're ordered in alphabetical order. First of all you want I'm going to make a new folder. And this new folder I see how I do that and you saw it in other ways it's new folder and you can type right over top of that and I'm gonna call it recipes and I click out here to make it active. Yes I want it and where'd it go? There it is there. Okay, so let's get out of this. And now we want our WordPad. And if you don't already have WordPad on your desktop, the best way to find it would be to type in uh, the search, and files and folders, and you can type in here, go up search, and just type in WordPad. Bring it up. And when you get it there, you just drag, left click on that icon, drag it over, and put it on the desktop. And then you just let it go. And then you'll see that it's right there. The little arrow means that it's a shortcut. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to open it up by double clicking. Left double click, open, and there we have it. So let's get it. Cabbage soup. This is our new recipe. Okay, so what do we need? We need one onion. Whoop, can't even spell it. And we need one carrot. And, and, whoop, and so on. You get the drift. Okay, so you added your recipe. Now we want to save this. Because if you don't, you won't have it. So we're going to click File. Never use Save. Always use Save As. This gives you more control over the document. Now, speaking of document, there's a file name, and the file name is document. That's no good to us. So, don't touch anything. You can type right over that blue, and I'm going to type in cabbage soup, and click in the white. Make that okay. Now, you want to check things. Make sure, I'm going to go back a bit here. Just give me a second. And... Okay, so I'm back in, this is probably where you are, so don't just ignore what I just did. I'm back in where I was there, and I'm looking for my recipe file. We're in documents, okay, and we've got to find, this is where you will probably be, and I'm going to look for recipes. There it is there. So I'm going to click on recipes, double click, and now you'll see you've got documents, recipes, and cabbage soup. That's the name of my folder. So I'm going to save the cabbage soup in there, and there it is. So let's see if we've got it. Back here, go to Start, Documents, Documents again. You can put a shortcut of Documents onto your desktop, just the same way you put a shortcut of any program, like we dragged WordPad over. So let's look at Recipes. There it is there. Double click. And cabbage soup, there's our word program. And when it decides to open up, it will. And there we go, cabbage soup. So there you have it. That's how you do a, put a file in a folder. Create a file, I should say, and put it in a folder. Let's look at one more thing. And I don't want to get too much into digital photography, but it does pertain to uh, documents. I'm going to click on documents, documents again. And I have some photos in my documents file. You should actually keep them. You can keep them in your pictures, but I'm in documents, so I have some photos in here. But what I want to show you is let's go over to your picture file there. Now you can see I've got pictures, and here they are here. Now I got some stray pictures, you can see. Now I've got 
canoe ones that I want to make another folder for canoe trips. So I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to just call it canoe picks. Pictures to sort. This is my famous thing when I don't feel like doing anything right now. But I'm going to grab these photos. Boys canoe. I'm going to click on it. Just going to drag, left click, drag, hold the left click down, drag the photo down. Once you see that, see that highlight, open up and drop it in. Uh, I've got one more here. I think, well, that was it for the photos. If I had more, I would drag more in. So we look at the canoe, and there's the photo for the thing. If you want to view these photos, you can large icons and a that's what I do. I go to view, large icons. So in other words, if you want to go here into your pictures, whoops, sorry, you got to click on that manila folder. And I'm going to click uh, canoe pics, I guess. No, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click, let me see. This is Lampton Outdoor Camping. Mike, uh, here's a Samuel D. Champlain Park, and I've got. See how I organized it, and all you do is you want to you want to go to new folder, and then I made the folder, and I got day one, day two, day three, and look at, and these are all the photos that are in day one and day two and day three. I go to view because I can't see them. I'm going to click the large icons, and that's all the file uh, photos that are in this. Uh, other ones here, these ones here are video and some are just music. So these ones here are video, and some are, that's a movie file right there. So they're movie files and these are photos mixed up in the one file folder. And I should actually separate them, but I haven't had time yet. So um, this, these MAV files, they're, they're uh, video. So that's how you can sort your photos out and in different days. I had a Disney trip. Let me see, 2008, and see if I've got that organized for you. No, I don't. That's there, and that's Disney Day 22. These are really messed up. Uh, I'll just go to View, and I'll go Large Icons, and there's the different uh, photos. I've got the actual real photos that stored on another computer, so it's not as messy as this, but it's close. <laughs> so you want to really take control of your computer. You want to really organize your files and folders, and that's the way you do it. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week.